So, are we taking them all home? Yes. I've got room in my caravan. Put it in Hello friends and family, we are in the Red Square in Moscow, Russia. Wow. The Red Square was a gold mine of gorgeous architecture. I think this is the coolest building we've seen. That green roof looks like a soft serve. <laughs> there was a building that looked like a Christmas dessert. And Gum, the famous shopping centre which had been decorated for the start of spring. When you're so bored of your chihuahuas. We had lunch there at a Soviet-style buffet, which reminded us of the restaurants at IKEA. After lunch, we bought tickets to visit the Moscow Kremlin, which is the most famous Russian citadel and includes the Grand Kremlin Palace, the largest bell in the world, and the largest medieval gun in the world. Large and grand seem to describe most things in Russia, like the many beautiful gold-roofed cathedrals also inside the Kremlin. On our way home, we stopped by the Bolshoi Theatre where someone tried to scam us with a bird. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. No, then. Oh, it's it. okay. <laughs> when we returned to our apartment complex, we noticed some stray cats in the yard. Please enjoy some clips of us giving them chicken from Victor's microwave dinner. Here you go, baby. Just, just leave it there for him. Put it. Just give them all of it. <laughs> oh, the same you greedy guts. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> well, he is the skinniest one, ah. so. Yeah, that's a piece of rice. So, are we taking them all home? Yes. I've got room in my caravan. We took the metro to the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour, then walked to the State Tretyakov Gallery. There, we found an actual photo of me proudly showing the two houseplants I managed to keep alive. We have a game we like to play at art galleries called Spot the Doggo. Fortunately for us, this gallery had a lot of doggos. The game can also be applied to cats, of course. One of my favourite paintings was this 1851 Zerienko called Portrait of Vorontsova. This looks like a photo. Mm. After that, we went to a supermarket. U-E-G-A-N and ate our dinner at the cinema before catching a movie. Invisible man. What do you think? I'm shook. You have to see it. Then it was time to board the famous Red Arrow sleeper train, which would be taking us from Moscow to St. Petersburg. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are having breakfast on the Red Arrow, and we are nearly in St. Petersburg. We have arrived! And there's triumphant music playing. Thanks guys. Finally found a recycling bin. This one says plastic. Been carrying these around for ages. We made it to our Airbnb. This is what it looks like. It is really cute. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Wow! 
Wow. <laughs> uh, we didn't actually sleep much on the train, so we're gonna have a nap now. Um, who knows when we'll wake up. It is now several hours later. It is 1.40 in the afternoon. We had a very nice nap and uh, we're gonna go and get some lunch now. We grabbed lunch at Hood, a vegan street food stand and ate it on a bench in Mikhailovsky Park. We both got crispy tofu burgers and they were absolutely delicious. Then we checked out a few sites, including Saviour on the Spilled Blood. It's like it's made of artwork. Nevsky Prospect. It's like the Maya Christmas windows, but Russian. This cat knows something. And the Palace Square, which contains the State Hermitage Museum and the General Staff Building. Hey guys, we have returned to our Airbnb for the night. We were planning to go into the State Hermitage Museum, but because of the virus, we thought it would be best to just go back. Also, sorry about the lights flickering earlier. We have since changed the settings, so it should be good now. Also, after five or six weeks of traveling, it's nice to just sit down and relax for a bit. So that's what we're gonna do. Hey guys, it's Saturday the 14th of March. It's actually our last full day of this trip and we'll be flying back to Melbourne tomorrow. So today we're actually not going to go out very much because we want to do our bit in social distancing, preventing the spread of the coronavirus. Just wanted to let you guys know that we're going to be at home pretty much all day today. But we do need to go out and get food because this is all we have left. Once we get back to Melbourne, we have decided to go into two weeks of self-quarantine. We haven't been to any of the high-risk countries, but we are healthcare workers and we just want to be safe. As you know, this is our gap year and Victor had planned five or six big international trips this year. I'm not sure how many of those we will end up going on and it is a bummer, but right now we just want to be back home, close to our friends and family, but not too close. And once our quarantine is up, we want to return to work and help in any way we can because the healthcare system is going to need all hands on deck. And I just want to say, stay safe, wash your hands and be kind to each other. That is very important during these difficult times. And we'll see you all back home. Good morning, everyone. It is 7.30 on the 15th of March. We're just about to go to the airport. About an hour ago, the Australian government announced that everyone returning from overseas needs to self-isolate for 14 days. Way ahead of you, Scotty. We bid farewell to our Airbnb's ominously diminished doorbell, to the quiet early morning streets of St. Petersburg. It's so quiet. Man. and made our way to the airport for the last time in a while. Thank you for following our adventures. Take care and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>